Today we'll look at how to create a double exposure effect in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image like this and turn it into this. Now there are several ways to create a double exposure effect. It will mostly depend on the relative lightness and darkness of the source images you choose. I'll show you one example today. Let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more examples in the future. So first I'll create a new document. I'll select File, New. And you can choose the size that works for you. I'll just do 4500 by 3000 pixels and I'll click Create. Now I'll bring in this portrait image. I'll select File, Place, and I'll select my image and click Open. And I'll click and drag to place it on my canvas. Now this is a transparent image. I recommend having a transparent image if possible. Now I'll bring my second main image in. File, Place, I'll choose this ocean here, click Open, and I'll click and drag. Now I want this image to clip into the shape of the woman. Let me put it behind her for now. In order for this to work, I have to rasterize the woman layer. Right now it's an image. I'm going to rasterize it to a pixel layer. Now when you rasterize an image, you're locked into that resolution. So I'm going to select the woman image here. I'm going to make sure the size is 100%. We can still make it smaller later, that's perfectly fine. But when I rasterize it, I want it to be as big as possible. So I'll right click on it and I'll select rasterize. And now if I hover over the icon here, you can see it's a pixel layer. Now I'm going to select my ocean layer. I'm going to click and drag it into the portrait. And I'll let go. And now if I expand the portrait, you can see the ocean is inside of it. And of course, that's what we see over here. I can resize the ocean and position it where I like. Kind of want to put it around here. I like the idea of the sun being in this area here, kind of right above her eyes. So I think right there is good. Now I'm going to add a mask to this ocean layer and start painting it out. So with the ocean layer selected, I'll click Mask Layer. I can expand the mask here. Now I'm going to select a brush. I'm going to choose a soft brush. Under the basic brushes, I'll choose some type of soft round brush. Let's go back to the layers. And I'll select some dark color, something close to black. And I'll start masking out the image here. So I'm erasing the ocean layer. And I don't want to fully erase it. I still want there to be that partial effect on her face. Kind of towards the edge of her face, I'll erase it more. And I'll keep the effect pretty strong in the middle of her head. I'll show her ear a little bit. I'll just kind of give a little bit of depth. I think that's a good start there. We can always change it more later. Now I'm going to add a gradient to the background. I'll use a fill layer for that. I'll select layer, new fill layer. Move it to the background. I'll select my gradient tool. Let's select radial. And I'll click and drag here. I want it to be something kind of purplish. You can of course change it to what you like. Something kind of like that. Now I'm going to add a mask to the woman. I'm going to fade her out so she blends in with the background more. So with the woman layer selected, I'll add a mask. We're going to be using a lot of masks in this video in case you haven't noticed. I'll go back and select my brush again. And I'm going to start painting out over here. But for the edges, I'll do grayish just so it kind of gradually fades out. Again, you can change it how you like. I'm kind of going with the wave a little bit here. I like the way this came out here, so I'll leave it like that. Now I want the ocean to flow out the back of the portrait here. So what I'm going to do is copy my ocean layer. So I'll say Control C, Control V. I'm going to drag it out up top here. And I'll delete this mask. I'll call this Top Ocean, just so it's clear. Now I didn't move this Top Ocean here, so it's perfectly overlapping the ocean layer below it. And that's important because we want them to line up. So I'm going to add a mask to this Top Ocean. I'll go back to my paintbrush. And as you guessed, we're going to start masking out this Top Ocean here. I'll reduce the transparency a little bit just so I can see what it looks like for now. So with the mask selected, I want to erase all this stuff here. Maybe even here a little bit. Around here. So I did the initial masking of the top ocean. Let me show you what that looks like by itself. So that's what our top ocean looks like. I'll clean up that bit there. I'll put the opacity back to 100%. And now I'll select a softer brush so I can blend these edges a little bit better. And I'll start cleaning it. Just kind of following the water pattern. Smooth it out down here. I'm just going to do a little repositioning here. Make sure you select all your objects together so they move relative to each other. Now I'm going to bring in some clouds. So I'll select File, Place, and let's bring in these clouds. I'll drag to resize. I'm going to move them right above my background fill layer here so they're in the background. I'm going to position them kind of where I want, somewhere that looks cool. Kind of like the way that looks. Now for the clouds, I'm going to set the blend mode to overlay. So with the cloud layer selected, I'll click the Blend Mode drop-down, and I'll select Overlay. And you can see it blends in pretty well. 
But of course we have this blue color here. Now we could manually just erase it. A little trick I'm going to do is use an HSL adjustment instead. So I'll add an HSL adjustment to the clouds. I'll target the blue, it's this sky blue here. And then I'll reduce the saturation. And it does a pretty good job of getting rid of the blue. Let's add some birds now. So I'll go to File, Place, and I found some birds. Let's add them. Click and drag. And because it's a simple black and white image, I can just set it to multiply, and that will get rid of the white. So I'll set it to multiply. And you can see the white is gone. I can Alt and duplicate this layer. So now I have even more birds here. I can resize a little bit. Reposition. I'm going to group the bird layers together. I'll reduce the opacity a bit just so it's not so strong. And I'm also going to add a mask to it. I don't think we need quite this many birds. Plus, I don't like that one there that's in the forehead. So with the mask selected, I'll go and I'll just get rid of some of the birds here. Maybe that one. Maybe this one too. So I think that's pretty good. Now I want to unify the color a little bit. I'm going to drag a rectangle over my whole image. I'll bring it to the front. And I'm going to create some type of gradient. So I'll select the gradient tool here. Click and drag. And let's experiment with some interesting colors. I'll choose some type of blue. Let's do like a purple down here. And let's set it to soft light. So with the rectangle selected, I'll select soft light. And now you can see the colors match much better. So before, after, before, after. We can add some other adjustments also if we like. I'll add a curves adjustment. And let's just add some contrast. Increase the brights a little bit. Let's get some darks in there. We can improve the vibrance. I'll add another adjustment. Vibrance. Let's increase that. Maybe a little bit of saturation. And we can always select everything in our image and resize it to find the best position. I can see a little bit of a seam on my cloud layer here. I'm just going to mask that out. It's subtle, but it's there. And just paint it out. And here we can see our final result. If there's any topics you'd like to see covered in a video, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.